Hey guys, what's going on? Johnny Randy here. This video is going to be all about uh, basically laying the, uh, the barrel up versus turning the barrel and what the differences are between them both and how it manipulates or keeps your swing going in the right direction. So a lot of baseball guys have seen the Josh Donaldson hitting video. He talks about the MLB network where if he tells the coach or if the coach tells the kid to hit the ball on the ground, tell him no type of thing. Uh, it's that demo I'm talking about. So he talks about in that demo something that's really important to me. I really believe is very important for every hitter and I definitely teach to make sure you turn it and not and not lay it up <clears throat> you'll see some bigger big leaguers on occasion lay the barrel up and then kind of drop it down to this low and in pitch sometimes lefties more so than righties uh, but you lose the barrel for the rest of your swing so it's basically as soon as I lay the barrel up this way I'm going to have the opposite effect going this way so I'm gonna get a high chicken wing lose the barrel come up and off the baseball my barrel gets yes. messed up. Oh my God. Okay. Where were you 15 years ago? So now, if I pull down with my hands, either I'm going to pull down too much yeah. this way, my back goes out here, and now the reverse effect of this goes this way, and now I'm underneath balls. That's why coaches say get on top of the ball because now you're underneath. Um, turning the barrel is basically putting yourself in a good position to launch. So as I'm here and I go up, bam, I'm going to basically come this way. It's basically. I'm going to turn this bot or back hand okay, tight. My bat is going to stay as close to my shoulder as possible. If you think about what it means to get out in front, roll over, cast your hands, right? So if I'm out in front and I'm casting my hands this way, how far does my barrel look, right? That's not turning it. That's throwing it, okay? So the faster your bat speed is, or the closer the barrel is to your shoulder, the faster your bat speed is. So the further away I go, I'm out in front and rolling over, slow bat speed. My bat speed's faster if I'm staying in tight and I'm just turning to get the barrel connection, then the rest of my swing is dictated off of that. Banged up the middle and Cano's got a big. So once again, in summation, basically if I lay the barrel up, I'm gonna have the opposite effect this way. I'm going to have the high chicken wing. I'm going to come up and off baseballs early. I'm going to miss pitches I should hit at the top half of the zone. You're going to get really, really upset with yourself. Say you're in a 0-2, 1-2, 2-2 count. You get a hang and breaking ball up here. And all of a sudden, I lay the barrel up, and I'm trying to get to it. And I have chicken wing high, and I roll over top spin it. And you know it's a pitch you should have drove in the gap. So that is what the laying the barrel up is. The turning the barrel again is basically getting yourself in position to launch. And then as you're going, it's basically turning a triangle. Uh, is what Matt Antonelli calls it. I really like that. Uh, basically, it's turning it this way. I'm going to keep my barrel as tight as I can to my shoulder. I'm going to lock this elbow in here. And all I'm going to do is get from tight to staying tight and then letting it go and letting it snap it at contact. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, comment below. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any of them. If not, hit me up on my Instagram. It's at Johnny Baseball. Thanks, guys.